feels even better than making a lot of money in a stock of a company you believe in, when that company also happens to be doing something genuinely amazing for humanity. Yep, every now and then you can do well and also do good. Take Novacare, and the symbol here is NVCR. Here's a company that's pioneered a revolutionary new way to fight cancer. It's called tumor treating fields. Basically, they have a machine that uses targeted electronic fields to strip disrupt critical mole molecules found with cancer cells, I mean, preventing them from reproducing. Very novel. Compared to traditional cancer treatment, surgery, chemo, radiation, the side effects are downright gentle. That may sound like fantasy, but Novacure's technology has already been approved as a treatment for GBM. It's one of the most aggressive and lethal forms of brain cancer. This company's extending people's lives. So it's not surprised that their product has been selling very well. Novacure reported last week and its revenue grew at 77% clip. And this is just the beginning as the company study its technology in all sorts of solid tumors, lung cancer, breast cancer, cervical cancer, colorectal cancer, pancreatic cancer, and other types of brain cancer. It could be a game changer. After all that, I almost feel crass that I've mentioned that this stock has given us a monster 157% gain last year. We've been recommending it all the way. Yet because of the recent sell-off, Novacure has pulled back more than 10 percent from its late January highs. Could this be a buying opportunity? Let's check in with Bill Doyle. He's Novacure's executive chairman of the board. Hear more about how his company's doing and where it is headed. Mr. Doyle, welcome back to Mad Money. Please have a seat, Bill. Good to see you. Good to see you, Jim. But you know what? I, I, on Twitter today, uh, we did something we usually do, which is say we have a guest on about a company, and we had an outpouring. And the outpouring is from people who are really thrilled that they are getting more chance to live from your device. Pete's Brain Brigade, a race this weekend, a 5K in Orlando, where everyone's rooting for this gentleman who's using your product. This doesn't sound like the typical kind of thing people talk about when they're trying to beat brain cancer. You know, Jim, I'm glad you brought up the human side of what we're doing, because we often talk about science and the numbers, of course. Right. But I get these emails almost every single day from patients and patients' family. We presented data at the Society of Neuro-Oncology, SNOW, in November, where we showed not only the average, if you will, of all patients who use the data, but we showed it by the dedication or the time per day. And for the patients who use it 90% of the time, because with this therapy, when it's on, it's killing cancer cells. When it's not, it's not. Those patients showed a five-year survival of 30%. This is up from single digits, uh, low single digits of this disease. So we are giving patients hope, and we're, we're giving them a much greater chance for a very long-term survival. Well, one of the things I've liked about you, and I've seen this, pro this product shrink in size and become more and more usable, but you've never said it's a cure. But you have always said it's an opportunity. It's giving some uh, people hope to live longer. And perhaps there will be some cures in the offering. But in the meantime, we do want survival rates to increase. And we want them to increase with, with a quality of life that this gives you. That's another very important uh, element of the Novacure story. Because as, as healthy individuals, you may see a device like this that weighs 2.7 pounds. And you think, gee, I need to carry this all the time. Uh, and I need to put the transducer arrays that you see in some of the, uh, the background video mm -hmm. around my cancer. But we published data in JAMA Oncology just recently that showed, in fact, the quality of life of patients on this therapy is maintained for a much longer period of time than patients who don't use it. And that's because the disease itself, as it progresses, the, the quality of life deteriorates. This is a neurodegenerative disease. So counterintuitive, but in fact, the quality of life is better on therapy than not on therapy. Okay, so it, it seems like the, that maybe the best alley right now for growth is international. We're waiting for something with Medicare, but other countries are really embracing this uh, with great alacrity. So we have a, I think a, from an investment opportunity, a relatively simple two-prong uh, opportunity. Opportunity number one, as you mentioned, is to grow the existing business in glioblastoma. That growth is coming from three uh, principal sources. Number one, as you mentioned, our international expansion. And in fact, in December, we received approval from the Japanese government for reimbursement. So that is a major opportunity for us. Number two, as the bulk of our patients move from using it as a second line therapy to a first line therapy. And in Q4, we said that now 66% of the new patients are using it at the time of diagnosis. They use it much longer. 
Right. That's better for them, but it's also better for the company. Uh, and then finally, we are still uh, early days in terms of penetration. We think in the US about 25% of the patients who can benefit are getting it today. This is because this is very new to doctors right. as well as patients. So we continue to work with the clinical community. So with the existing business, there's multiple avenues for continued growth. The second part of the strategy, of course, is to use it in other tumors. And in that regard, GBM is among the smallest we're focusing on. Oh, well, that's great. The next one in the pipeline is mesothelioma. This is the lung cancer right. associated with asbestos exposure, another terrible right. prognosis. Uh, we will have a data readout uh, in the second half of this year, so in the next few months, uh, with respect to mesothelioma. And we have three additional phase three trials underway, non-small cell lung cancer, mm -hmm. The area that I'm, in many respects, the most optimistic about is pancreatic cancer. Wow. This is another killer. Right. It's, it's today the third largest cause of cancer death in the US, and it's growing and will be number two soon. And then ovarian cancer, which will start wow. later this year. Well, look, I, we got a fingers crossed. I don't want to give any false hopes, but I've seen your uh, device in action and saw a uh, personal friend's life be prolonged far longer than anybody thought. That's why I'm so glad you came on the show. Uh, this is Bill Doyle. He's NovaCare's. Ch executive chairman of the board, please. There's many, many uh, decks and research. I want you to get familiar with it before you buy it because it is a speculative stock, but they do have plenty of cash and they've got a lot of opportunity. Mad Money's back after the break. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.